It honestly looked like a scene from a movie. One car crashing into another nonstop. The snow, the cold, and speeding drivers created an absolute mess on the roads this morning. This morning, things are slowly getting back to normal. Yeah, multiple cars again. Solid ice inbound at North Avenue. They're steady coming. They're steady coming. We got multiple cars. It's going to get really bad here. North inbound. Oh, snap! And it did get really bad. Around 5 a.m., a 54 car pileup on the inbound side of the Kennedy at North Avenue. Several vehicles were totaled. All lanes shut down. The snow mixed with falling temperatures created a sheet of ice on the roads, and drivers had no idea. Patrick Balson works for a company making ventilators. Considered an essential worker, he was on his way to work in Cicero. I just came over the, the uh, bridge there, and there was just a pileup and nothing to do, nothing you could do. Uh, it was icy, it was snowing, and uh, it was just a sudden stop. I was trying to be careful, but uh, there was just nothing you could do. His car totaled. Many drivers reported untreated roads this morning, and not just on the Kennedy. There was a multi-car crash on the inbound Stevenson at Damon earlier, shutting down all lanes there. There was a crash on the Edens near Wilmette. Fire crews were slammed with crash calls all across the area. In the snow and cold, emergency crews have to continue to work under this pandemic. Crash victims were out of their cars on the Kennedy, walking around at the scene, making things all the more challenging. We're asking everybody, first and foremost, at this time, is social distancing, obviously, is our main concern. But we have other jobs to do as well, as far as fires, accidents, and other things that we respond to every day. So besides the pandemic that's going on, we're still dealing with everyday um, incidents, and this is, uh, this is one of them. In all, on that one Kennedy crash, 54 vehicles involved. There was another crash further down involving nine vehicles. The Kennedy, by the way, is now all reopened. That's the good news. 14 people, though, had to be transported to area hospitals. They're all going to be okay. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.